Carl Summer, president of Reliable EDM, has a wealth of machining experience. Having worked as a machinist, tool and die maker, foreman, tool designer, and operations manager, Carl now shares with you from his wealth of experience. From old fashioned to modern tool and die making, Back in 1949, I graduated from Brooklyn Tech Night School. I took two classes of shop there, and I entered into the machining trade. A year later, I got a job at a handbag frame company in Brooklyn, New York. And there we did dyes the old-fashioned way. And the metal that we commonly used was 01 tool steel. And our dye is, if you could look at this, this is the, this would be the punch coming out here, and that would be the die. And the first thing we would make is the punch. Now the punch is usually taller, but this gives you an example. And the way we did it, in the old fashioned way, we would take a piece of O1 tool steel, and I'm gonna demonstrate it. We would heat it in an oven. Now the oven that we had in those days didn't have any gauges. So everything was done by sight. Let me show you how it was done. I'm going to be demonstrating now on this piece of 01 tool steel. I'm going to heat treat it. And I got this from a book. This is an old book that I had from my toolbox and I wrote it down and I recopied it. And it's tool steel 01 hardening. Rockwell 6062, that's very hard. The color would be light straw. 58 to 60 would be straw. 56 to 58 be dark straw. 54 to 56 violet, and 52 to 54 blue. Now I'm going to demonstrate what we did. We did this now, remember, in an oven. No gauges. All we did was look at it with our eyes. So I'm going to start heat treating this, start heating this piece of 01 tool steel. And notice how I'll heat treat first the thick part. And I want to go where the thin part is. And you start seeing the color changes of the steel already. Now we wanted to get it red hot, no shadows, a cherry red. The reason we're heat treating this is to make it hard. It'll, you'll punch a lot more material with a hardened piece than you can with a soft piece. So we always harden the punches and the dies. And what we want is the tip hard. But I want to get back over here, heat treat the whole thing until I don't see any shadows in the red. Grab it and put it into the oil and swish it around. Now that's quenching the oil. Now this is very hard. In fact, it's, it's, it's brittle. So we're going to have to temper it. Now this is the punch and I polished it up. I cheat a little bit. I used the glass beater that we have in the shop and I cleaned up, took all the black off. Now that's where this chart comes in. From light straw, which is very tough, to blue down here. And one way, the way we used to test things is we take a regular file, an old file, and you can tell, just listen to the sound of it. You can hear, this is the soft, this is the other end that wasn't heat treated. You see that I could, it bites. And this is the tip now that was hardened and you can hear it. Just slides right over it. So this is too hard now. This will break. So now that, what I'm going to be doing now is gonna heat treat this from bottom up. And I wanted to get blue in here and I want it to be just hard on the punch. This won't be like a, a punch that just punches a hole into a die. So what I'm doing now is I'm tempering this punch. This is too hard. It will crack otherwise. And I want the tip to be up here, light straw. And in here, I like it to be blue so it's soft enough. Now I'm gonna just heat it up in this area. But I want this to be blue. So I have to be careful because it goes pretty fast. Then I'm gonna quench it in oil to stop it from going any further. I just let that color go up. I'm going to watch it now. I want you to get straw on the top. You can see it's straw now. Take it out of the vise. 
with the propane, and now I'm quenching the oil to stop it from spreading that color, make it any softer. This is the way we used to do it. This is the old-fashioned method. Now here's a hardened punch that wasn't tempered, and I'm just going to try to bend it and see what happens. You see, it snaps right off. Now here's the one where we did temper it and got a blue in here. See what happens here. I can see here it was untempered. It snapped easily. And here, because it's blue here, I was able to bend the punch and it didn't snap here. But this tip is very hard. I just demonstrated a very simple punch, how we heat treat it. We also make complicated punches like this. All right, now the question is, how do you make a shape like this? And this is what we would do. We would take a piece of O1 tool steel, like this, and then we would take some Daikin blue, I have to find an old can, and then we would just paint this bluing on, on this piece of metal. We put the Daikin blue on there, and let it dry. Then we would take the punch and place it on the piece of tool steel and then carefully scribe a line around that punch. Then we would drill a hole and we would go to the bandsaw and usually with a quarter inch blade we would cut the blade, put it through the hole and on the bandsaw was a welding machine. We would weld the blade together and then carefully cut out close to that line. Remember, anything that we miss, we have to file it out. If we could mill it, we would, by all means. But some things, particularly like sharp corners and in very close places, we couldn't do this here. And I happened to find a company that had a filing machine. In the next video, I went over there and I'll describe how we filed on a filing machine. Located in the heart of the high-tech energy capital of the world, Reliable has the largest EDM job shop capabilities in North America, specializing nationwide in wire, RAM, and small hole EDM. Our commitment to our customers and our passion for technology has made us the EDM specialists.